Hey guys, Silenced here and welcome to my mid to high level money making guide. So in this video I have 5 different money making methods to show you guys and these methods will require levels in the range of 60 to 90 and they can make you between 2 mil and 4 mil per hour. So I will be showing you guys how to make money by charging air orbs, by doing the Anachronia agility course, killing dark beasts, making raw wild pies, and of course making scentless potions. So hopefully you guys will be able to use a few of these methods to make some money in RuneScape 3. So jumping to our first method we have charging air orbs and so the only requirements for charging air orbs is level 66 magic. However the wilderness hard tasks are also recommended because this will allow you to take the agility shortcut on the south side of the obelisk of air and so if you do take this shortcut it should cut out approximately 50 seconds per run however another way you could do this is with the slayer skill cape so if you have 99 slayer you can teleport to vanica using this slayer skill cape which will make this around 50 seconds faster as well so in order to do this method you will want to buy unpowered orbs and cosmic runes you can make around 700 to 800 orbs per hour and you will use three cosmic runes per unpowered orb. So that means you should, to do a full hour, you should buy around 700 to 800 unpowered orbs and around 2,100 to 2,400 cosmic runes. So first buy your unpowered orbs and cosmic runes and also make sure you do wield an air staff as well. And now you can do this method. So you could also bring a beast of burden and this will kind of allow you to stay at the obelisk of air a little bit longer, which is what I recommend. And you should also fill your inventory with 27 unpowered orbs and around 200 cosmic runes. And you also want to fill your beast of burden around 60 to 70% full of unpowered orbs. And you want to do this because then it is easy to actually take them out of your beast of burden um, while you are at the obelisk of air and then the this obelisk is located on an island in the wilderness um, and it is accessible via the ladder in the edgeville dungeon which is why teleporting to vanica is saves you like a lot of time so once you have filled your inventory with unpowered orbs and cosmic runes and of course your beast of burden you can head down into the edgeville dungeon so here is a look of it, a map of where you will need to go. As you can see, Vanica is there on the right. So you can just quickly teleport to Vanica using your Slayer skill cape. And this will make this so much faster. So now once you get here, just follow the path that I am going to be taking. And as you can see with my setup, I do have the unlimited air runes. I also have the unpowered orbs and the cosmic runes in my inventory. So you'll just want to follow this path and you're going to want to be taking the ladder in the top left corner of this dungeon. So once you are here at the Obelisk of Air, cast your Charge Air Orb spell on the Obelisk of Air and then begin crafting the Air Orbs. So this method is actually extremely AFK, which is what I really like about it. As you can see, it takes about 108 seconds to make a full inventory of air orbs. And then you also have your Beast of Burden air orbs as well. So it is a pretty AFK method, and you can make around 2 to 2.5 mil per hour doing this method, which is also pretty great. And you get a decent amount of magic XP as well. So this is overall a really great method for mid-level players. Now moving on to the next method, we have making raw wild pies. And this method only requires 85 cooking and it can make you around 3 mil per hour. So in order to make raw wild pies, you will need a pie shell, raw bear meat, raw rabbit, and a raw chompy. And you can make around 800 pies per hour, so it is suggested that you buy 800 of each of these raw ingredients if you are planning on making wild raw pies for a full hour. And you should also know that there is a buy limit of 1000 on each of these ingredients. So if you are planning on doing this method for more than an hour, you should plan ahead and buy the ingredients beforehand. So to start this method, you will want to withdraw 14 pie shells and 14 raw bear meat. 
and then you'll just you want to use them on each other and you should repeat these steps until all your pie shells and raw bear meat are now part wild pies. Next you'll want to use the raw chompies on the part wild pies and then of course the raw rabbit and once all of these are done you will have your raw wild pies. And you will now want to sell these raw wild pies and they should sell around 10k each and the price on these stay relatively high since raw wild pies are used to train cooking quickly by using the bake pie spell. It is also suggested that you test the prices beforehand um, and then so you just make sure you cannot lose money. This method doesn't usually crash, it is usually pretty high, but it is important to do this just in case a lot of people begin doing this method and the price on raw wild pies crash. So just make sure that this method is really profitable before you actually invest a lot of money in these raw ingredients. And as you can see here, this is just a quick look at the prices I bought the ingredients for and the price I sold the raw wild pies for. And as you can see, I actually made around a 4.3k profit on each raw wild pie. So if I made the full 800 in an hour, I would make around 3.5 mil per hour. So the price is really great right now. So definitely try and get on this method sooner before later. And this next money making method is going to be a bit of a different one. So it is going to be making the codex ability books for the double surge ability and the double escape ability. And this money making method is a really simple one. So really all you will need to do to get these pages to make the codex book is to do the Anachronia agility course. And this agility course does require a level of 85 agility to complete the whole course, which is really important if you are looking at getting the pages. And so the Anachronia agility course is a pretty strange course. Um, it is a difficult one to actually see the path of the course because it blends well in with the just the island in general. And so it may take a while to actually get a hang of the course and complete it efficiently, but the nice thing about this method is that you get a lot of agility XP per hour as well. So you should get around 200k to 250k agility XP per hour, depending on how efficiently you are doing the course. And of course, you should make around 2 mil per hour when you actually do complete the codex. It should equal out to about 2 mil per hour. And so it takes around 7 to 8 minutes to complete the entire course, just depending on the efficiency of, again. Um, and then it should take 8 to 10 hours to actually get enough pages for the codex. So the tradable codex actually requires 750 pages to make the full codex book. And the book is currently selling for 33 mil on the GE. So completing one of these is a pretty nice chunk of cash. However, it should take quite a while to actually finish the entire codex book. And so here is just a quick tip for some of you guys that haven't actually done this. So you can search the lectern in the Anachronia base camp. And what this will do, it will actually give you 25 free codex pages, which is really nice. It can only be done once, so if you haven't already done this, you can do it. And it's just a nice head start on the first codex that you will be able to make. And so now moving on to the last method in this video, we are going to have making scentless potions. And so in order to make scentless potions, you do require an Argway potion and shadow vines. So the first step is going to be obtaining the shadow vines. And you can do this by hunting the shadow jadinkos and they are located on Anachronia now. Um, so right here on this map is where you can hunt the shadow jadinkos. And looking at just the general requirements, so the requirements are 81 hunter to catch the shadow jadinkos and then you will also need 59 herb lore to actually make the scentless potions and so in order to catch the shadow jinkos you will want to be using the marasama plants to catch them and you can actually catch them really fast so this is much better than before this update uh, the anachronia came out before you had to go to the herb lore habitat and hunt them there and it was much slower so this is a much better way to actually obtain the shadow vines as you can see i'm getting a lot of them 
and I did this for about 10 minutes just to test it out and I obtained 51 shadow vines so you could obviously obtain a little bit more I was a little bit inefficient placing the traps a little bit too far away um, so overall you could probably obtain around 60 shadow vines per hour maybe even a little more if you were really good at it so that is really great um, and so basically for this method this is going to be most of the time spent is just going to be hunting the shadow jadinkos but once you have finished hunting enough shadow jadinkos so as many as you want you will want to be making these scentless potions next and so you can do this by combining the Argway Potion 3 with the Shadow Vines. And I highly recommend that you do this on a portable well because it gives you that chance to make an extra potion and this will definitely increase your profit per hour by a lot. You should also have the Scroll of Cleansing from the Dungeoneering Shop unlocked as well. And this will give you a chance to actually save your Shadow Vines when making these Scentless Potions. And so just looking at this price check, this is what I obtained from the 51 Shadow Vines. So it does say 2 mil per hour, but when I went to sell them, I did find it was quite difficult to sell these potions. So what I did is I converted them into the potion flasks and then sold them that way. And so the profit wasn't as high as I hoped. Um, so I only sold them for 30k. The prices definitely have dropped since the Anacronia Island has been released. It just makes the shadow vines a lot easier to obtain but um, i spent around 400 to 500k making these potions and then it took me 10 minutes to get the shadow vines so overall you can expect around three mil per hour doing this method i was hoping it was going to be a lot more if they sold for the regular price at least before the anachronia update um, but they don't, so you can expect around 3 mil per hour, and this is a pretty nice money-making method. I mean, the requirements aren't too high. You do get a lot of Hunter XP per hour as well, so that is important to keep into account as well. Um, you're looking at about 200k to 300k Hunter XP per hour, which is just amazing. So anyway guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and hopefully one of these methods you'll actually be able to use on your own account to make some money. So if you have any questions about any of these methods, comment it down below, or you can even join my Discord server and ask your question there. A link to my Discord server is in the link down below. And anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.